Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we will learn about Apache Cordova and how we can use HTML, CSS and JavaScript to build native apps with a single code base. So talking about Apache Cordova, we can build apps which are called as hybrid apps using basic HTML, CSS and JavaScript for various platforms like Android, iOS, Windows. So what Cordova does is it will wrap your HTML and JavaScript application into a native container. What I can say is a web application. So Cordova apps are like web apps running on top of native applications, but they can access the device functions using something called as plugins. Let's say you want to access a device camera or Bluetooth functionality. So our JavaScript application shares a plugin code with the native application. So the JavaScript API, the common code will be used to access the native functionality. So when on an overview, if we compare this application, except the native part, the entire logic, the UI that can be done using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And wherever there is any native interaction needed, at that time plugins are available. Most of the plugins are there. If we have to write a custom plugin, we can also do that. So let us explore about the prerequisite and what all things are needed to install and to configure Apache Cordova. So here I am targeting Windows platform and on Windows I will be developing for Android. So first prerequisite which we need is Node.js. We need it mainly for installing Cordova using NPM. Then we will need Android Studio, the default Android editor as well as JDK. If we have to run Cordova or any other commands using command lines, we'll need JDK. Gradle obviously for wrapping the Android applications. And additionally, as a part of setup, we will have to set environment variable paths for the Java installation as well as the Android. So here are some of the links to Node, JDK and Android Studio. So first of all, let's go to the Node site and download the LTS release for Windows. Once Node is installed, you can head over to Visual Studio Code Editor or any command line to check the version of Node and also the version of NPM. So once you have this installs, let us head over to the JDK. So I will attach this JDK URL in the description for you to download. Scroll down. So I have Windows 10 and 64 bit, I'll have to download this one. I have already downloaded that in a folder. So let me go ahead and install this. Now, once JDK is installed, let's download Android Studio. I have already downloaded Android Studio. What you have to go is start the studio and in the SDK manager, download the studio packages for the latest Android API, as well as the SDK tools, which includes the emulator as well as the accelerator. Once this is done, please remember the path for the SDK location. Hit OK. We've done with Node.js, we've done with JDK, we've done with Android Studio. Now, we will have to set up Gradle as well as the environment variables. That is something which we will do in the next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned. 